hello there beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so for this video we are creating this beautiful brown glittery look using the Atati Beauty palette the volume one and the first brush that I am going to pick up is the Morphe E30 it's a very fluffy brush and I'm picking up very little product I'm jumping into soothe in the matte finish and I am just applying that to the crease area on uh, both my eyes. Of course, you're not going to see too much product because I didn't pick up too much product again. And since this is a very fluffy brush, it already doesn't pick up too much product so you're really just gonna see kind of like a little whisper of this eyeshadow on the lid I am going to build it up the same brush just a little bit smaller and it's the morphe e13 and I'm picking up the same shade but as you can see you're beginning to kind of see the shade a bit more um, that's because since the brush is a little smaller um, I guess it picks up a little bit more product and I'm able to create depth in my crease using the very same shade. Now here I am picking up a tapered blending brush and I'm picking up the shade Ritual in the matte finish and I am applying this directly below the colors that I applied and I am just blending those shades together since this is a very compact and tapered brush it does pick up a little bit more product and I go back and forth between the first brush and this brush and I just blend it out and I go in once again and deepen it a little bit more and I do this a couple of times I feel that this is an easy way for you to create kind of a smoky eye. You just start with the lighter shades and just start to build with the darker shades until you get the desired effect that you want. And here I'm just tipping over my brush upside down, which helps a lot with blending as well. And here I'm just going to work on the other eye. Since this brush is really tapered, it's very, very good to get right into the crease area and blend out the shades. Once again, picking up the blending brush that I used first and just blending all those shades together. This brown shadow does come off a little bit patchy on my lids. Um, but again, you know, just a blending and blending it kind of smooths out a little bit more So here I am picking up the Smith Cosmetics 235 brush and I'm picking up the same shade Which is a ritual in the matte finish and I am once again Just applying it into the crease and just deepening the crease area a little bit more and this brush did blend out the shade a little bit better than the first brush that I used to apply it. Um, so I was just, I was happy with it the way it turned out. So now I am picking up the Smith Cosmetics 253 brush and I am applying the same shade Ritual in Matte all over my lid. Now it doesn't have to be too perfect because I'm going to apply glitter over this and it just look the glitter just brought everything together it looks so beautiful as you guys will see this palette is absolutely stunning you guys these glitter shades are so Beautiful. I cannot wait to create holiday looks with these glitters because they are like perfect for that So stay tuned for holiday glam videos as you can see my Christmas tree is right behind So I'm already in the mood. So picking up this Urban Decay 24-hour glide on eye pencil and I am just aligning my waterline with this
And the first shade I am going to pick up is Soothe in the matte finish. And I am going to blend that out with this, my favorite Morphe brush. And I am just I'm blending it and I'm bringing it really, really low on my lower lash line. And then I'm picking up this pencil brush, the Morphe E24, and I am picking up the Ritual in Matte as, again, and I am just deepening the lower lash line a little bit more, and also bringing together the entire look. And what I mean by that is the upper lid and the lower lid together. And once again, just blending and blending. Blending is your best friend when you're creating these looks, or any look for that matter. this is my favorite part with my finger I am picking up a shade ritual in the glitter finish and I am just packing it on all over my lid and I just love how it looks this is like a very kind of a bronzy glitter it has a little bit of gold reflect in it it's absolutely beautiful and especially with this brown as a base, it really just makes it pop. And I absolutely, I'm, I'm just obsessed. And there are no words to express how much I love these glitters and they're so easy to apply, which is the best part. So with this little pencil brush, I am going to pick up the shade Aura in the metallic finish. And I am going to apply this to my tear duct. It really gave it a nice little pop. I am also going to go ahead and apply that same shade to my brow bone just a little bit. I usually don't do a brow highlight, but for this look I wanted to, and it is very subtle, so I like it. So for this look, I decided to not do my liner because, I don't know, I felt that it looked nice like this. You just, you know, wear some pop and lashes. That's it. So I chose the Samantha lashes from Huda Beauty because right now those are the only ones that I have that are kind of dramatic, you know, the bitch is broke um, and I'm not about spending mad money on lashes. So right now those are the only ones that I have and I have about two or three of them. So I just reuse them and yeah. As you can see here, this is what the lashes look like with this look, or this is what the look looks like with the lashes better said. I really love how it turned out. It's very subtle, yet glittery, you know, with an, with an impact. I absolutely love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.